Hey everybody, this lesson is on translations. The last one we did was on, on reflections. We'll do some reflections in here, but we're going to talk about the image and how we write these images here. So we'll go, let's go ahead and graph triangle ABC. And instead of uh, writing out the word triangle, we're going to use the triangle symbol right here. So this would be triangle ABC with vertices 1, 1, A is 1, 1, B is 4, 1, and C is 4, 5. So A, I'd go over 1, up 1. A would be right there. B is over 4, up 1, and then C would be over 4, up 5, up here somewhere. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and graph those, and I color-coded those for us. There's A in red, and B is in blue. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. B is in blue, and C is in that, uh, that sort of yellow-goldy color right there. Okay, so when we draw its image, like a reflection in the last lesson, uh, the new vertices, be, uh, be, they're marked with what looks like an apostrophe sign, and that just means prime, you guys. So, for example, if we had, um, uh, this says right here, triangle A prime, B prime, C prime right here, okay? And then um, A prime would be the reflection or the image of A, B prime would be the re image of B, and C prime would be the the image of C, okay? So let's go ahead and reflect triangle ABC over the x-axis, okay? So here's the x-axis right here. And remember in the last lesson, uh, the rule for reflecting over the x-axis is to just change the y-coordinate, you guys. So we're going to take all the a, b, c coordinates and we're just going to change the y-coordinates. So change this 1 to negative 1, change this 1 to negative 1, and change this 5 to negative 5. The x-coordinates stay the same. Okay, so we're going to go over 1, down 1, which is over 1, down 1 is right here. And then we're going to go over 4, down down one, and then finally over four, down five, down here. Okay, and then um, if you see, if you can see this line right here, it becomes a mirror image. It's making the mirror, it's the reflection point where this triangle gets uh, mirrored down or reflected down to that side right there. Okay, so, so reflection is just a mirror image of that. Okay, and then notice A prime is the image of A, B prime is the image of P, B, and finally C prime, the image of C. Okay. So now we're going to reflect A prime, B prime, C prime over the y axis. And what that's going to do is give us what's called double prime. And double prime is, looks like there's two apostrophes or it looks like a quotation mark. So this is uh, triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. And it just means we're just doing the, it's the reflection of A prime, B prime, C prime right here. Okay? So it's just notations, you guys. It's harder to say than actually write right here. So we're going to reflect it over the y-axis. And when we reflect over the y-axis, we just change the x-coordinates, you guys. So this 1, negative 1, we're just going to change the x-coordinates. It's going to be negative 1, negative 1. This uh, 4, negative 1 is going to be negative 4, negative 1. And this 4, negative 5 is going to be negative 4, negative 5. We're just changing the x-coordinates. So I have those written right here. And there it is right there, okay? And then see that uh, that uh, y-axis right there? The y-axis is the mirror. So here it is. We first reflected this down here, and then we reflected this over here. So it's a mirror right there, a reflection. That's why when you look in the mirror, it's called a reflection. Okay, so let's go ahead and redraw triangle ABC. Okay, so there it is right there. And then now let's draw line N, which is a uh, x equals 1. X e I'm sorry, negative 1. When it's x equals just a number, that's a vertical line. If it was y equals a number, it would be a horizontal line like this. But x equals negative 1 is going to be that line right there. Okay, I highlight it in green. Now that's going to be our reflection point. Okay, so what happens on, on this side is going to happen on this side. So this uh, A is going to be, it's two units away. So I'm just going to go two units away on this side. And there's A prime right there. Okay, and B is, uh, there's, um, there's three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five units. So I'm going to go five units this way. One, two, three, four, five. B prime is going to be over here. Okay, and then C is going to be up here. It's also five units from here to here. So we're going to go five units this way, and C prime is going to be over there. Okay, so remember, this is my mirror right here. This is the mirror image right here. Okay, I think I'm going to move it over. Yeah, I moved it over because now what we're going to do is now we're going to draw another vertical line, x equals negative 7, which is over here. I'm going to draw a vertical line over there and reflect this triangle over this line right here. Okay, so here we go. There's the vertical line, x equals negative 7 right there. 
Okay, now this purple line is the mirror. So, so this blue point is one away, so I'm going to go one away right here and put B double prime right there. A is five units away from the purple line, so I'm going to go five units away from that side over here, and that's going to be A prime. And then C is going to be your C double prime, sorry, A double prime, and then C double prime will be the reflection of C right there. Okay, so if this is my mirror, then this guy goes on this guy right here. Now, what's kind of cool when we reflect over parallel lines like this, can you see that the green line and the purple line are parallel right there? When you reflect over parallel lines, uh, this triangle right here is what's called a slide image of the original guy. See how we reflected this original guy over here, and then we reflected this guy over here. This guy is like a slide image. If I could just grab that and slide it right over, it slide right over on top of that guy right there. Okay, so it's just a slide image, and so if you can slide it, that's what's called a translation, you guys. So a slide image is called a translation. So let's try some. So point A is three negative one, and it's translated uh, two units. Excuse me, two units uh, to the left and three units up. So to the left is an x uh, uh, coordinate. So when you go to the left, it's like subtracting two. And when you go up, then you add to the y coordinate right there. So left and right movement goes with x, and up and down movement goes with uh, y. So if we go to the left, it's minus. If we go to the right, it's plus. If we go up, it's plus. If we go down, it's negative. Okay, so just remember x and, I mean, sorry, x stands for left and right movement. Y stands for uh, up and down movement. So we're just going to plug in this point right here, 3, negative 1, for the X and the Y right here. So this just says take the X coordinate and subtract 2. So we're going to take this 3 right here and subtract 2. And then this one says take the Y coordinate and add 3. So we're going to take this Y coordinate right here and add 3. So 3 minus 2 is 1. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So we get uh, our a prime to be 1 comma 2. We just did 3 minus 2 and negative 1 plus 3. Let's try that again, you guys. Here's another one, just like that. So point B is at negative 4, 0. We're going to translate the unit uh, 4 units to the right. So that would be x plus 4. That's what this says right here. This arrow means translation right here. And 1 unit down. Well, that means minus 1 with the y. Remember, x is to the left and right and y is up and down so if we go to the right it's positive if we go down it's negative okay so what we're going to do is plug this in for x and plug this in for y right there okay so i highlighted those in red so the negative four is x and the zero is y so we're going to plug in negative four and add four and then plug in uh, zero and subtract one so negative four plus four is zero Zero minus one is negative one. So if that's point B right here, then B prime with this translation right here is going to get us at uh, at one or zero negative one. Okay, let's try that with the triangle. So here's the vertices of triangle ABC: two, three, one, zero, and negative two, four. And we're going to take all these x coordinates and we're going to add three to those. And we're going to take all the y coordinates and subtract two from those. And that's going to give us a prime, b prime, c prime. Okay, triangle a prime, b prime, c prime. Okay, so I highlighted those in red. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in two for the x's, one for the x, and then negative two for the x. And then we'll plug in three, zero, and four for the y's into this formula right here. We add three to all the x's and subtract two from all the y's. So here we go. So a, uh, a which is two, three, becomes a prime. So it's going to be 2 plus 3, and then it's going to be 3 minus 2. So I just plugged in the 2 for this x right here, 2 plus 3, and then plug in this 3 for this y right here, 3 minus 2. Okay, did that with the b and did that with the c. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and uh, add them. 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 minus 2 is 1. So a prime is going to be at 5 comma 1. This one's going to be at 4 negative 2. This one's going to be negative 2 plus 3 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, so this is going to be at 1 comma 2, okay? So we're going to go ahead and graph those guys right there. So there's those guys being graphed right there. Now, I, I highlighted this in green in the next click right here, and I graphed it right here. So there's, there's the original triangle, ABC. It's this green guy right here. And this green guy, look, check it out. It went, it got, it moved over 3, 1, 2, 3, and it went down 2. So Check out this point. It goes over 3, 1, 2, 3, and goes down 2. Every one of these points went over 3, 1, 2, 3, 
and went down two. This guy went over three. This is two, this is three, and then goes down two right there. This green triangle is congruent. We call it in geometry congruent, uh, congruent to the blue triangle. So the images are always congruent. Let's try one more. Triangle ABC with uh, those coordinates right there. And this one says add five to all the X's and add two to all the Y's. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to add um, uh, 5 to that x, to that x, and to that x right there, and then add 2 to all the y's right there. So negative 2 plus 5 is 3, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3, so you're going to get these ordered pairs right there, and it's going to get me that graph right there. And I'll show you, when we graph this guy right here, I'll highlight that in green, it'll be a congruent triangle, and what's going to happen is it's going to be the green triangle that got shifted to the right 5 and up 2. Okay, so here's the green triangle. Got shifted to the right 5. It went over 5 and up 2 right there. Okay, that's what this one's called. It's called a translation. Okay, you guys, take care.